though hatchet uh i feel like he i i haven't read it yet but i feel like you might like the next scp based off its nickname all right Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, I think I know this one. Hell yeah. No, the picture it Google gave me was this. When I looked up the SCP. <laughs> Location, Colorado, USA. I live in Colorado. Why are the loca locations Montana? Okay, Montana. Colorado, still in the U.S. The fucking, where the fuck did Germany come from? <laughs> Other side of the goddamn planet. <laughs> All affected motorcycles lured into a local junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of great. Hey, Hatchet, you know what's even better? <laughs> you know what's even better with this, Hatchet? What? Uh, the MTF Task Force that gets uh, designated to deal with this SCP is known as MU-13, a.k.a. Ghostbusters. Hi, <laughs> <My> Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's... Ghostbusters are deal with dinosaurs, but okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. What? Or maybe dinosaurs. I have no idea. I haven't read the SCP. It's called Jurassic Park, so let's assume that there will be dinosaurs. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay. On with the SCP. SCP-1750 refers to this, the spontaneous animation of petroleum-powered vehicles ranging from automobiles to propeller aircraft. Vehicles animated by SCP-1750 display animal-like behaviors with some similarities to crocodiles and birds. Wait, it's just, it's just cars acting like dinosaurs. It's, oh my god, <laughs> it's taking over the fossil fuels and making them be like dinosaurs. Oh my god. I think Hatchet has found his new favorite SCP. It's making, it's gonna turn your motorcycle into a raptor. <laughs> 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 this is already amazing. Let's continue. I want to hear more about this. Mm -hmm. All right. There, there does not seem to be any underlying pattern or cause behind the phenomenon. Exorcisms ah! ta tailored for reptilian <laughs> ectomorphs have been, have proven the most effective at neutralizing SCP-1750 manifestations, which also end naturally once the vehicle runs out of fuel. Bookworm in chat. Maybe we shouldn't have used dead dinos to fuel automobiles. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just want to imagine like a priest uh, is being dragged like, okay, so what am I exercising? And they just pull a motorcycle in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's called Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Just... Wait, so the dinosaurs <laughs> Oh my god, the dinosaurs are demons. They have to be exercised. <laughs> god they're demon dinosaurs taking over fossil fuel vehicles. Mortuary assist uh, assistant two. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, which motorcycle has the demon in it? <laughs> Which one's going in the trash compactor? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love the SCP universe. Yeah. Because sometimes you've got extremely fucked up, sad, and terrible things. Then other times you have, you have cars becoming demon dinosaurs. Cars possessed by dead dinosaurs who could ask for more. The, this is This is great. Yeah. This is like, if this isn't like a serious issue, it's an instant spood tier. And I yeah. doubt that it's a serious issue. Like, what the fuck are dinosaur cars gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Alright. 
Given this information, it is hypo hypothesized that SV-1750 is the result of dinosaur-based ectomorphs inhabiting the fuel, fuel in the vehicles. This would similarly explain why SCP-1750 has not occurred in immobile gasoline-powered machines. They may, in fact, occur, but there would be no way for them to actually move upon manifesting. Addendum. Noted SCP-1750 manifestations. Montana, USA. Event. A motorcycle rally goes awry when... Or Ari. Sorry. I had to. When the vehicles are affected by SCP-1750, dislodging their riders and then attempting to maul them using their tires and exposed pipe tailpipes, injured and wounded riders intended to draw more attention from affected motorcycles. Containment. All affected motorcycles lured in into a local junkyard by use of domestic domestic chickens, where they are fenced in and exercised. All riding injuries blamed on improper vehicle handling. Class A and so they're exercising the possessed cars? How did they rope the priests into that? They must have like SCP exorcists. Yeah. That, that's fair. I mean, how do you go to a local priest and go, oh, by the way, this car is possessed by a dinosaur. Please exercise it. Hey, bitch. <laughs> there's a fucking... There, bitch, my car... It's turned into a raptor. Help! Why is there a Utah raptor in my Harley? <laughs> oh, no! Please get the ancient dinosaur. Please, please get the relative to birds out of my car, please. <laughs> oh, no. What if, oh, no. What if this happened to a monster truck? You have, like, a T-Rex running grave digger. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eat their passengers, this bookworm. Derive sustenance from all the dumb fucks who go to a motorcycle rally. Yeah. Anyway. Class A amnestics dispersal ordered. All right. Here we go, Hatchet. Colorado, USA. Event. What happened in my state? An 18-wheel semi-truck becomes affected by SCP-1750 while refueling. It proceeds to rampage through the city, sneaking up on smaller vehicles, such as sedans and coops or cups, or and <laughs> ramming into them to knock them over. <laughs> Containment. Because the vehicle had not refueled fully, it, it, it exercised itself after two hours. The vehicle was destroyed, and the event blamed on a dr drunk driver. Class C and that's excused. This is... This is my new favorite SCP, hands mm -hmm. down. Bookworm okay, says, what happened in Germany? Bookworm says that that's just a bad case of road rage, lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> you see my... You see the semi-truck, you know? It started acting like a goddamn fucking car car dontosaurus. Yeah, it's just a bad case of road rage. The driver was, like, really fucking angry for some reason. Yeah, that's why... That's that's why the truck started hunting sedans. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Alright. Bavaria, Germany. Event. A crop dusting plane is affected by SCP-1750 mid-flight, veering off course and flying to the Wurtach Wur River where it lands and attempts to dig up the ground near the river by spinning its wheels along the ground. Containment. Plane ran out of fuel and exercised itself. Pilot and bystanders given Class C amnestics. Excavation of the soil revealed a small clutch of fossilized eggs, hypothesized to belong to Pterodactylus antiquus. Yeah, I was gonna say this is, this is uh. Oh, why am I forgetting that clade of of pterosaurs now? Um, yeah, this is archosaur. Is that it? Archosaur. I need to look what. Give me a second. 
You can continue. Got it. All right. Uh, Darkhan, Mongolia. Event. A jeep and micro car are simultaneously affected by SCP-1750. While the jeep wanders the city, occasionally running over foliage and ramming into trees, the micro car attacks nearby civilians. The jeep eventually comes across the micro car, which is which accelerates into and ramps it. The two vehicles proceed to engage in combat until a sudden sandstorm blows into the city and buries both vehicles. Containment. All affected civilians given Class A amnestics, destruction caused by the vehicles blamed on the sandstorm. Wait, how does that mix? <laughs> Damage caused by a car totally was caused by a sandstorm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Good job. Good job there. You know what? Um, That's still better than putting redacted. <laughs> there. <laughs> they just redact the people to get them to forget. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just see Borkman's message now. It says, "Oh, I just wanted to see its eggs again." Yeah. 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 Poor, poor baby. Poor baby. All right. Gulf of Mexico. Event. A crude oil tanker is affected by SCP-1750 and proceeds to submerge itself with the loss of almost all hands on deck. Following its submersion, the tanker has been observed intermediately throughout the Atlantic Ocean, attacking small yachts and baleen whales and behaving in a manner similar to a great white shark. It is that a, is that it's a megalodon? a megalodon sub! Yep. They've Ooh. got a Megalodon sub! <laughs> Either that or a Mosasaur, but that's sounding like Megalodon. Sounds yeah. like a Megalodon because they literally acted like great white sharks, only they were bigger. Yeah. But I get, well, I guess my hesitancy there is that Megalodons probably didn't act much like great whites today. But, eh. Well, from what they've uh, researched and found, they're uh so they look so alike even though they're totally unrelated simply because they both had the same sort of like they both acted the same and hunted the same sort of things well they didn't really look alike they didn't really? look that much alike yeah like they would have had completely different patterning they would have been much stockier like mm -hmm. the research i've seen like directly goes against that yeah all right now let's see how what how they contained it. The surviving crew members were given Class C anesthetics. The, the affected tanker is still at large. In addition to ongoing containment duties, the Foundation Atlantic Fleet has been ordered to keep watch for and neutralize the ship if it is spotted. The environmental damage estimated to result upon its destruction has been deemed within acceptable parameters by the Ethics Committee. Wait, why, why don't they just let it... Well, oh, yeah, it's hunting other ships, but... Hmm. Alright, so Hatchet, since this is your favorite, I'm going to send you the link to it. Yeah, give me that link and let me... How the fuck do I pronounce this? I know I've, pro... I know I've heard this word before. Pronunciation. Yeah, apparently under it, though, it has a... It leads you to the author of the SCP. Hmm. So yeah, this is so Hatchet, this is one of your new favorites. One one second. One second. As dark it's there we go. As dark it's that's that's some as darked pterosaur behavior. That's the that's the family I was thinking of. Got it. They're like they're they're the they're the big scavenger pterosaurs, like Quetzalcoatl. Ah, and Ooh. not the god gets of the dinosaur, right? No, Bright. I just randomly started talking about a South American, or not South American, a Central American god. Yes, I'm talking. <laughs> Wait, did you just call it a dinosaur? Maybe. They're not dinosaurs. They're pterosaurs. God damn it! <laughs> they diverged from dinosaurs when we did. 
they yeah. are as related to dinosaurs as we are. So yeah, uh, Hatchet, this is one of your new favorites now, huh? Yes, this is absolutely easily my new favorite SCP. It's just <laughs> dinosaur ghosts taking over cars yeah, and, and planes and shit with their their dead bone juices. Yeah, and apparently with the SCP, you also get a link to the author. Yeah, this is... I love this. <laughs> words words cannot fully describe how much I love this. This is one thing that I, I like doing this, because... Uh, we all get to learn new SCPs and get new favorite SCPs. Yeah, I would have never heard mm -hmm. about this SCP without this. I love these streams so much. Yeah. <laughs> like... Only <laughs> and and the and the naming choice of Jurassic Park is such a good bait and switch because you're thinking, okay, it's going to be living dinosaurs. No, nope. You know it's what? Not I that. still think the song fits. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's here's the real here's the real take. You have to play that song, and it's in nothing but car horns. <laughs> oh no! We will have a chorus. Of ghost dino cars singing oh the Jurassic God. Park theme before they inevitably die because they run out of their dead bone juice. Wait, let me let me see let me see if there's okay. Hatch, I might send you something. Oh no. Did someone actually do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna check. It it does sound like something that would exist, but either way, I don't think I'm going to get any pushback on this. Spoot here, easy spoot here. Spoot <laughs> here. If if I had if I had the power within my grasp, I would add a spoot plus plus tier. <laughs> for this, specifically for this SCP. I'll admit that's one of the best SCPs I've ever heard. This just, like, I had a giant shit-eating grin on my face the entirety of you reading this. I'm doing nothing. Aww. Snake cat. What are you doing? I do know how to make it myself. Okay. Actually, Wait. but I don't have where the like. I I saved I it. Don't have the thing where. Hold on, I probably have to refresh. Hold on, let's refresh. Where the fuck did it go? Are you trying to add a spood plus plus tier? No, I didn't do that. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. I can't even read it. Where'd it go? It's like gone. Um, I haven't found one with. Okay. Hash. Are you at like a max I number have... of tiers? Probably. I tried adding another one called Dino Tier. Eh. But I, I guess I can't there. add any more. I will say this is top tier spood tier. This is the ep epitome of what one would expect spood tier. Yeah, you gotta put this at the very beginning of Spood Tier. That I can actually do. Dude, that is a consolation prize to not having a Dino Tier. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to get the image of an 18-wielder hunting sedans out of my head. <laughs> also, um, I'm gonna have to spoil the next image, and you'll understand when you see it. Okay. Billy Durnham, what were you trying to say? So... Oh. Oh, no. There's a rubber chicken cover. Oh, God. That sounds like one of the most insufferable things anyone could do. Wait. Rubber chicken cover? What? A rubber uh, chicken cover. Jurassic co Park. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna listen to it and I'll tell you 
afterwards. Oh, I've okay. heard that. I, I love it. Oh, God. Of course you would love it, fucking <laughs> bird-ass chicken lady. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway, uh, did you guys see the picture? Yes, is that a dead cow in a rodeo? <laughs> it sounds like... Sounds like someone's dying. <laughs> That's what I oh, God. Okay, you know what? Would that be copyrighted? Can we just play this on stream? <laughs> Probably. Be copyrighted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at least the cover hey, would be. Hmm? Hatch. Hatch. Yeah. Look in stream planning. Air horn remix. I think the only way I could play it on stream is if I have a parody of citation license, if you know what that is. Yeah. But I do not have one of those. And I'm pretty sure those cost money. <laughs> Is this... <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Oh, wait. That's not the one I heard. Oh, yeah, there were, mul there were multiple. I... I like... I, I don't think... There is a more immaculate way to butcher a score from John Williams. <laughs> it's just awful. My head hurts. <laughs> I had a headache before we did the dino one. The dino one cured me of my headache. And now it's... <laughs> anyway, uh, the next SCP that deals with the cow... You're welcome. That deals with the cow, its nickname is Event Perception. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. First thing I see when opening it. Informational cognito hazard warning. The following documentation is directly affected by an anomalous linguistic info hazard. Procedure uh, Tomaic trepidation is now in effect. All unorthanized personnel will be terminated upon discovery. Authorized oh, we're screwed. Uh, yeah. Authorized personnel be advised that you have an Minister the Class 7 Counter Memetic Safety Mechanism, co codename Ninth Sphere. This allows for viewing of SCP 1751 without prior knowledge of the Latin language. Please do not re administer this mechanism without on site medical approval and never more than twice within a one hour period. Okay. So this is an anti-meme. Or maybe, or, or has anti-memetic powers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's... Anti-memetic abilities. Yeah. Well, let's find out. Uh, it somehow has to deal with cows. Yeah, the image that you sent is just a picture of a dead cow at a rodeo. I don't see the relevance. <laughs> I don't see the relevance either. We'll find out. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to take a moment mm -hmm. to just once again express my utter disdain at what you have exposed me to, Adorno. <laughs> You're I've stopped sure. listening to it. I've stopped listening to it. But I've it's it's now set up shop in my brain and I hate it so much. I want to evict this, but it's 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 just it's not going. I can't evict it. You're welcome. I'm, I'm stuck with it. You're welcome. This has forever tainted my first experience of of the dino cars. Uh, hey, at least I didn't send you the chicken one. Oh god! Oh dear god! Hey Hatchet, no, I'm gonna post oh. in there a, a, a better I'm, one. I'm no bright. Oh no! If you, it's a I kazoo can't. version. Uh, a kazoo? Oh no! Uh, I don't even remember what a I, kazoo I is. <laughs> I know what it is. I want. I want to hear it. I, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I can't listen to it, though. 
I think I've heard the kazoo one before. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I like it. <laughs> I'll assume that's, yes, it's the one I'm thinking of. It's my it's favorite not, version. It's not, it's not even in sync with the background music. <laughs> it's my favorite version, despite the original. Like, I, I like the original better, but this is my favorite parody version. It's so good! This is the perfect... <laughs> Just the fact that it's coming alongside the visuals of the actual Jurassic Park, and you can hear the actual theme in the background overlapping <laughs> this terrible remake. <laughs> also, why is why why is why is this person's uh profile picture look like a black bear wearing a Batman outfit? Am I high? Maybe. No. So did, did you like that? Did, did the shroom act here in Colorado passing do what all the all the conservatives apparently think and make it so that the government was putting psychedelics in my water? Is that what's going on? Did you like the song Hatchet? Yes, it is amazing. <laughs> it doesn't I'm quite... sorry, Hatchet, you were not drugged by mushroom water. <laughs> I, I, but how do you know I wasn't? That's the question. Because I know you weren't. I, I, but how? How do you know what you know? This is epistemology, bitch. <laughs> because anyway, I know. Um, that's after, not a. That's not an acceptable oh, answer. How do you acquire that knowledge? Anyway, after they no... hatch. Oh. What? Hatch. Yes. I don't I don't know if this will fix anything or make it worse, but here. Okay. I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is cats poorly photoshopped into the scenery. <laughs> Jurassic Park, but with cats. Let's watch this. Uh while you're watching it, I guess I'll read the SCP. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> it's it's just giant fucking cats. Yeah. <laughs> why is I why is the black one just sitting in the lake? <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> that, that, that turn off! The video jump scared me! How could you do this? I, I took a second! I, I, I take a second to, to pause the video when the black cat's in the water. And then when I unpause it, it shows the black cat meowing and opening its mouth, but they did the T-Rex roll. <laughs> and it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Anyway, on with the SCP. Oh, God. Uh, you good? My, my brain, it's, it's gone. My brain is redacted. <laughs> it is dead expunged. All right. Anyway, on with the SCP. SCP-1751 is a fixed point in t space time, information about which can only be per perceived in Latin. Oh, fuck. You know, what did the like Catholics do? SCP. What did the Catholics do? <laughs> SCP-1751, as it is currently understood, appears to produce this effect through a proto-memetic infohazard mechanism. Cur current ongoing research has proposed that the effectiveness of a counter meme would suggest a non-memetic source of SCP-1751's anomalous eff effects, though the method through which SCP-1751 manifests is poorly understood. 
pearly understood? Poorly, yeah, poorly. Sound like you said pearly. <laughs> pearly. <laughs> As in pearly whites. <laughs> You're just getting detailed nails, just making them all pearly white. <laughs> pearly whites refers to teeth. Well, they can work with fingernails. They're bones, too. No, they're not. Oh, my God, <laughs> Bryce. Bryce? The fingernails are keratin. You don't actually think those are bones, right? No. <laughs> my friends want me to suffer. <laughs> that is the conclusion I've come to after a long period of analysis. Uh, anyway. Can we go back to the dino cycles? No. <laughs> anyway, specifically SCB-1751 is the entire year of redacted AD, centered around the Mediterranean Sea. During this time, no known major historical events took place, though approximately to Nero's per persecution of early... Abrahamic sex has has been noted. Abrahamic sex. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I meant, you son of a bitch. I know. There we <laughs> go. I have finished my the I have finished the new thing. Oh, the roll? Yes. Let's see, what's okay, it so called? What is this roll? I'm gonna give it to you, Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am redacted. Unless you want it, unless you don't want it. No, this is this is fitting. Okay, I'm starting to feel like the the Google gave me an image that does not fit with the SCP whatsoever. <laughs> uh. All right. But I like how it says no major historical events took place. Then it leads to narrow persecuting Abrahamic people. <laughs> a possible connection, like it said. Uh, oh, I thought when you put an icon to a a, a stat a thing, it would show next to your name. Oh, sad. Yeah. Anyway. Foundation historians have put forward the idea that SP-1751 is somehow related to the, the burned redacted and the aftermath thereof, based on several writings in Foundation custody recovered from the remnants of the Library of Alexandria. Was that the one that was burned down by the Romans? No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It was burned down by a bunch of Christian douchebags. Okay, I thought there was, like, one church, uh, not church, one library in Greece that was, like, burned down by Romans. I mean, it might have, I mean, it, I don't remember the actual timeline. It might have been the Roman Catholic Church that did it. I remember watching a movie about it. Yeah, I, I there's, still there's a like whole ass, There's a whole ass Catholic saint that is the guy who burned down the, the library of Alexandria. I wish they hadn't, because that, that, I think I believe that library contained a lot of useful knowledge. Yeah. It's a, it's almost as if a historically Christian... Pers uh, historically... Per <laughs> Everything is broken. Historical Christian persecution and erasure of other cultures has led to massive gaps of knowledge that we can never get back because of their... And their their hatred of other perspectives. I have absolutely no familiarity with this idea at all, being a Norse pagan. Yeah. I I wonder if like some of the things like Damascus steel, Greek fire, I wonder if like the ingredients on how to make it fit were in that library. Because we don't know how to make that shit. Well, I mean nowadays we can make Damascus steel. Right, but we don't know how to make Greek fire or or, or the other weird things we find yeah in other words there's a whole ass massive amount of lost information 
because a bunch of Christians didn't like them, they're pagans. Uh-huh. Yeah. Once again, I have no familiarity with this idea. I I haven't. I I I definitely. Oh yeah, true yeah, bookworm. Yeah, bookworm. Not to mention just historical records, like. Uh. Great. Now I'm now I'm depressed thinking about that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm this, sorry. this stream this stream has been such a whirlwind. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like to put into perspective, like I I might be preaching a choir. I don't know how many of you know this, but with reconstructionism oh. surrounding Norse paganism, like some of the best sources we have to reconstructing Nordic traditions is laws that were outlawing those traditions. Oh no. Yes. Book from Red the also other yeah. ones that are really good sources are the people that were trying to erase it or Christianify it. So there are modifications made that we know are very likely made specifically to try to Christianize those in that faith. Yeah, or it's commonly a mixture of that and just Christianization having an overall cultural diffusion into the culture. Like, for instance, there's a lot of those trends that also exist in the Poetic Edda, which is pretty much the only Norse source we have that was almost certainly written by a pagan. And even oh, yeah. then, there's still a lot of those things that seem eerily connected to Christianity, and it came maybe a hundred years after Christianization began. So it was easily long enough for those ideas to just start diffusing and merging with uh, Norse culture, which to be fair, there's no actual issue with, like in concept, there's no actual issue with Christian Christo paganism. It's just the fact that that being diffused and then immediately supplanting it makes it hard to determine what was originally there and what was a Christian reinterpretation of what was originally there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. We're ready to go back to the SCP. Also, Borkham said they read ahead and they said that he'll get more depressed at you. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Think- although, to be, f- although, like, like with all things, there is a silver lining. Okay. There is a silver lining. And that is that in the creation of the of some sagas that were explicitly designed to mock pagans, we got the creation of the saga that talks about the Volsi. If any of you don't know what that is, Ocean Keltoy made a wonderful video about it. It's literally a fermented horse penis that a bunch of people developed a weird cult around, and it's one of the best. St- <laughs> Bookworm, all hail the Volsi. It's one of the best stories I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to have to go eat dinner, but this has right. been fun. I'm sorry. Do, fine, do you Jerry. think you'll be back at some point? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. Only thing I've had to eat today is honestly breakfast. I, I spent the Jesus. rest of my energy on making the redacted role and trying to... <laughs> And being pissed at the redacted icon not working, so trying to oh. add, so trying to make it an emoji for the server. Uh, an, an, a noble cause. We must all salute the sacrifice of Adurna's spoons in the creation of, of this role. What? <laughs> what? How is Adurna's spoons related no, to No, not Adurna. Her- Fuck. God damn it. Rattlers. God fucking... <laughs> You people have mashed my brains today. <laughs> I met, well, I have put was. something uh, that I think you and I'm hmm. going to link you and write to it and dumb posts. And Bookworm says uh, salutes the tired snack. Or no, salutes the exhausted snack. Thank you for your service. Have fun. Uh, damn it. Th- like, seriously. 
<laughs> and dumb posts. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this stream is like a roller coaster. We have the we have the redacteds breaking my brain. Then we have extremely giddy fun times with dino cars. And then we have my brain being melted with air foam Jurassic Park remixes and a T-Rex cat yelling at me. And then now I'm thinking about all that we've lost to history. You can go ahead, Brains. Uh, give me one second. All right. An analysis of, of the Dead Sea Scrolls. When considered by any sapient language capable organism, their thought process processes invariably translate into Latin whenever SB 1751 is directly thought about. This presents in the same manner as non anomalous multilingual perception. The subject appears to think in Latin whenever directly or indirectly thinking about SCP-1751. Damn. We should work on bright. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, that would be great. Just immediately give bright the ability to pronounce and understand Latin. These, these, <laughs> these documents would be so much easier to get through. Shush. Mm-hmm. Right, take a course in Latin. Fuck off. Anyway, <laughs> the effects of SCP-1751's manipulation of thought processes have included nausea, headache, loss of focus, and difficulty communicating, though these symptoms are considered a, a product of the subject spontaneously experiencing a class sigma shift in perception and not an additional manifestation of SCP-1751. All of those things are just what I deal with on a daily, on, on a daily basis. Did did I did I get affected by this SCP and just didn't get any of the cool bits? Yes. Damn it. Anyway, I I get I guess my perception of Latin was expunged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prolonged exposure to SCP-1751 has resulted in the degradation of work were Nick were Nick uh. I, I'm I'm terrified to say the word. <laughs> just type just type it and we'll say it. <laughs> Cause I feel like I'm gonna fuck up and say something really bad. <laughs> We're Nikki. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> bookworm pro provide how would you even say something really bad there? Uh, you would I have was... to import an R sound. I don't know. I, and I a was, G sound. I was close to saying it in a, in a way that it would sound like it, but not at the same time. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm not saying it. Uh, that's valid, but it's also <laughs> funny and stupid. <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway. Maybe it's because you're funny and stupid. Let's yeah. continue. I'm not going to fight that. That's fair. <laughs> area in the cerebral context, resulting in a cessation of understanding of all language except for Latin. And a complete and Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. But I, I load up Minecraft on my Xbox. I go to the mine store to fucking uh to, to fucking go see if I need to update any of my texture packs. And the first thing I fucking see on opening the sidebar is the pop culture section is currently represented by the Jurassic World symbol. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> it's all connected. Mojang knew. You know, it'd be kind of cool if, they... if someone made a, a mod or something in like Minecraft Bedrock that was SCP-1750. <laughs> no, you see, here's here's the real question. If Mojang, as a collective entity, already knew everything that's going to happen, how much worse 
does that make the villager design? Oh no. <laughs> anyway, uh, and a complete inability to understand language in a, in the long term. In extreme cases, tumor growth has been observed in patients with extended exposure to SCP-1751. It is theorized that SCP-1751 rapidly deconstructs and then rebuilds neuron connections within the language centers of the human brain. Additionally, subjects who have pre-existing knowledge of the Latin language have suffered decreased symptoms in relation to their level of fluency. Due to the fact that SP-1751 appears to be an infohazard infection of a specific point in space-time, and not simply text or some other human construct containment of SP-1751 has revolved around the suppression of public knowledge of it. Any sapient organism which considers SP-1751 will experience its anomalous effects regardless of location, intelligence, level, and temporal anchor point, or otherwise. As such, all textbooks which include SP-1751 have been confiscated in their subsequent editions edited. Suppression of knowledge regarding SP-1751 and a deliberate disinformation campaign have served to reduce public attention of SCP-1751's specific point in the time to null values. SCP-1751 presents the danger of a GH class, dead greenhouse scenario, where only the most remote media and accessible portions of humanity will survive. Small-scale containment breaches have been occurred in the past through acute carcinogen application and counterintelligence operations. Is this why Latin is a dead language? <laughs> Sorry, what did you ask? I muted because I switched to uh, my laptop speakers. Uh, I, I said, is this why Latin is a dead language? Mm. Nah, I don't think that... Nah, that doesn't seem connected. Weird. Because, like, Latin became a dead language simply because it evolved into, a, like, tons of other languages and then ceased being continuously used. I, I can also see Jack Bright just constantly learning Latin just to only speak it just to mess with with everyone at the foundation. Oh, God. <laughs> I can see that. Fucking Jack Bright. Remember, the more you talk about Jack Bright, the more it pisses off Admin Bright. So do it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Brooklyn said, uh, talked about the poem, so I'll read the poem about this SCP. All right. And the gypsy woman cried to her gods to save her burnt oh. skin, her children, bubbling at her feet. But man hath no eerie like the gods, who took offense with her, her weakness, took it as an affront, and in their vanity, their splitting grins. They damned her shame to the ever flows of time, and snatched her dying breath, nailing it to the me well, the maleficent clock, so that all of man might remember, understand, and reveal in her pain. Right. Yeah. You might have just unknowingly said a racial slur. Yeah. Did I? The uh, yes, are uh, the starting and the blank woman? Oh shit! I forgot that was. Oh fuck! Yeah, I I I decided to double check to see if there was any other notable definition that might be getting used here. A nomadic or free spirited person is the second definition. But okay. 
maybe that's what it's talking, but g- given the surrounding, it's it's yeah. yeah. You're fine, Bookworm. Yeah. So uh, that's the SCP. I'm getting canceled. Mm. Oh God! Oh God, Bookworm. Oh yeah. Oh I see. no. Oh no! I see that. <laughs> something to do with the Roman genocide. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Huh. I mean, Bookworm's not rough. Okay. So. This is this is a memetic agent that if you learn about this particular event in history, it will eventually make it so that you cannot speak any language other than Latin. Is that what I'm picking up? Yeah. Well, uh, some people have even grown tumors, so I there, and there is so. Oh, uh, that's. Yeah, and, and Bogart says, and eventually die. And eventually die. So, honestly, like, I think the worst possible case scenario is an XK. Yeah. But it's also <sighs> an unbelievably unlikely case scenario. What is it? Probably, probably like, City. Well, well with, the X, with the XK, it said, like, well, with how Hatch just says, XK says, GH class. Then dead greenhouse scenario where only the most remote, media, inaccessible portions of humanity will would survive. Yeah, so uh I would say that's not the entire I would say continent there. Like it's yeah. not it's not literally everyone. And it's not necessarily what I would put in world changing because that generally comes with less overall over the top amounts of death. Yeah. But I just realized this also means that basically the only people that wouldn't die are all the extremely isolated indigenous communities that have been Mm -hmm. uh, cordoned off because they're hostile to outsiders, which is. Bear at this point. Yeah. 